So, what's going on everyone? This is the most Philly Jim coming at you guys with another video. According to what we're hearing, a lot of reports out there saying the Philadelphia Eagles are giving J.J. Arcega-Whiteside a lot of reps at the slot receiver spot. So, could this spell the end of the Nelson Aguilar era with the Philadelphia Eagles? I think it's very possible. I mean, I mean, uh, it really depends. It's not going to happen. If it does happen, it isn't going to happen right this minute. Not. It may not happen until the preseason. But I could see it happening. Um, this just reminds me of Nelson Aguilar. When Nelson Aguilar took that slot receiver position from Jordan Matthews, that pretty much spelled the end of the Jordan Matthews era in Philly, or so we thought until he came back last season. Um, this could happen. This you could really see this go down if JJ Arcega Whiteside continues to impress the way the NFL is going. You're seeing more and more teams move to that big bodied slot receiver. So if if he continues to impress. Nelson Aguilar could be gone. And I know this isn't going to be what most people want to hear about Nelson Aguilar. People love Nelson Aguilar. He, uh, he finally, he, he pretty much sucked until he had that one resurging year. And yeah, he's been, he's been okay. But do you guys remember where we drafted Nelson Aguilar. In 2015, Nelson Aguilar was selected with the 15th overall pick. The 15th overall pick. Guess what? I feel very, very confident saying we can get the same level of production from J.J. Sega whiteside that we get from Nelson Aguilar right now i mean nelson aguilar is the fourth option on this team we draft him with 15th overall pick we draft him to be a top receiver on this team he's the fourth option Ertz, jeffrey deshaun jackson he's the fourth option at best at best he may be the fifth option it's just the way it is man uh it did, it did not pan out the way we wanted it to, even though he did have a resurging year, even though he has been a contributor on this team. Nelson Aguilar was a top 15 pick. You don't draft somebody with a top 15 pick to be the fourth receiving option on your team. So if J.J. Arcega Whiteside takes advantage of this opportunity that he has, they're giving him a lot of opportunities, giving him a lot of reps, in slot at OTAs, will this carry over to training camp? Will this carry over the preseason? If it does, I I would be totally cool with trading Nelson Aguilar. He is making eight point three million dollars this year. He and like I said, eight point three million dollar cap hit for a guy that's the fifth option on the team, fourth option on the team, whichever. One, he truly is. And not only that, but also the guy was a top 15 pick. I, mean, I've, I've, I know I've said this like six times already in this video, but he's, he's a, he's a fifth, top 15 pick. And you, he's your fourth option? Hell no. Hell no. If we can get something for Nelson Aguilar, we can get some value for him. If we can get a decent draft pick for him. If we can get a veteran defensive end in here for a rotation that would solidify the defensive line. I would do it. I would, I would do it. I like the upside of JJ Sega white side. I like what he can bring to the table. Underrated quickness, speed, good route runner, uh, can make tough catches. Eventually he will be the predecessor to Alshon Jeffrey. But for now, I love J.J. Arcega Whiteside in the slot. We'll see what happens with Nelson Aguilar. Um, this is 
this is going to be a pretty interesting OTA period and training camp and preseason. Uh, one of the most interesting competitions between a position group that I can remember. So we'll see how it all plans at, pans out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, guys, keep that same energy. I am out of here.